So, I decided I wanted to make a uh, Morse code oscillator inspired by the website Hacked Gadgets. Uh, Hacked Gadgets. Um, so, here's this design. Uh, uses a 555 timer, speaker, and 9 volt battery. Um, all of which I had laying around. I've never actually used a 555 timer, but I thought it was about time to learn. So, this is my design. Instead of a speaker, I used a little buzzer. And, uh, there's a 555 timer. We have the two resistors, or sorry, uh, these two groups of resistors control the frequency. This is a pot I use to be able to adjust the tone. And uh, here's the key, the 9 volt battery. This capacitor also uh, affects the frequency. And there's a formula on the data sheet for calculating the frequency. And that is shown right here. And uh, so mine should have a frequency range of 527 hertz to 2180 hertz. And I did take some, sh some uh, scope plots, and it was just about exactly equal to that. So, <clears throat> so this is how it turned out. Not the greatest job in the world, but sort of works. So here's the 555 timer. Here's the buzzer. Here's the pot to adjust the tone. And here's the receptacle for plugging in my little key I made. So I'll go ahead and do that. Now there's a problem you'll notice with this that when you barely press it down it uh, the frequency is lower and I think that is because this key is in line with the main power so I want to redesign this and have a, a transistor switch here instead so that no current is actually running through the key and then the, the resistance of the key won't affect it <clears throat> 